Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you this question. How long do you think I can balance this laundry basket on my head? Find out at the end of the show. Dun 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 Yeah. Hello and welcome to On The Mandel Piece with me, Sasha Mandel. This is live and completely unscripted. So Ringo, bingo, let's all eat flamingos. Let's dive right in. So the agenda for this evening is section one. We have a Q&A. We have a couple of questions. Nothing too radical, nothing too out there. Um, and then for number two, we have, oh, we have updates. What am I creating and what each uh, you know section entails? But you'll know more about that later on. And then finally, of course, you've got the laundry basket challenge, uh, which will be at the very end. And... And, oh, actually, there is one more little extra bit of content for those who stay at the very end. Uh, it's about someone that's name begins with K. Uh, that's all I'm saying on that. Uh, so let's just dive right into the questions. So we have a question from uh, at Dallas Glitter Hips again. Um, and she asks, will DJ Schlafa be making more appearances? Now, for those who don't know who DJ Schlaffer is, he is our correspondent. He is the eyes on the ground. He is the man with the plan, the cat's pajamas. Uh, so he'll be kind of, yeah, coming in and out. But I would suggest that maybe we should get the man himself to talk a little bit more about whether he is going to be making an appearance. He has been away for a very long time in the Philippines. Um, but um, Schlaf, would you like to? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, Schlaf, don't be, don't be shy. Just one moment. <laughs> Let me just. Schlaf, uh, the guys want to see you. Nah, I'm not prepared. I'm still mild and meditated in my life. Oh, Schlaf, please don't be so silly. Come on. They just want to say hello and they want to know whether you're going to be on the show or not, what you're going to be doing and all that kind of jazz. Uh, nah. Look, I can't force you, Schnaffer, but uh, the fans, they, they, they want you, they love you. Please, I'm begging you, please, go say hello to them. Mm, you are starting to maybe make me bend my eyes. What do I have to do? What do you want me to say? Let me just tell them a little bit about yourself. And what you're going to be doing and things like that. And, um, you know, well, where have you been last? What have you been doing? Well, I've been in one. So, well, don't tell me, tell them. I know, but I'm a warden, Sikhada. So, let me just start me, Sikhada. Fine, fine, I will go. I will go a little bit and tell them. Hi, the party people. Uh, remember me, uh, DJ Schlafer, the greatest DJ in the world. Um, yeah, a little bit, a bit of what I've been doing. I have been in the Philippines, uh, currently on the Great Filipino Bake Off. Uh, yeah, I got to the second round. So, fingers crossed, we hope to see what happens with that um, in regards to what I'm doing here on the show. Uh, well, I am the cultural correspondent. So, you know, I will be uh, the eyes on the ground. I'm going to maybe art exhibitions, maybe some parties. Who bloody knows? Who knows? But uh, I can tell you that the series that uh, they are making, so if you must, I will be appearing in a few of the episodes. But I imagine that uh, Sasha will tell you a little bit more about that another time. Or, he's going to be telling you right now. So please, enough about me already. Please tune in next week. Uh, you know, I might be around. Who knows? Who knows? That's I'm good. That's I'm good. That's enough. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. And do you, um, do you think that uh, you've got a chance to win the competition? The Filipino competition. Very confident. I don't know. Maybe yes. Perplexing. No. Who bloody knows? All that I understand 
is that through meditation you have extreme focus and uh, you are able to elevate to another level. My upside down pineapple cake went down a storm. It was unbelievable. The great judges, they gave me the star baker. It was quite an amazing uh, feat of ingenuity. I use uh, the same principles that uh, the winner of the Great Literature Day Coffee 2015 uh, accomplished with her showstopper. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice, it's really cool, and uh, we may be ready to fight for another day. Well, brilliant, Schlaf, but uh, thank you so much for coming. Um, I, well, we've got your number. <laughs> um, I'll text you, maybe we can go for a little bit of a thermosolas here and a bit of a glass of oil. <laughs> All right, see you later. Schlafer, wonderful, thank you so much. Um, oh, wasn't it so nice to see the old chap? Um, anyway, um, so that is that. Uh, we have answered that question, the DJ Schlafer one. So uh, let's have a look at, uh, oh yes, uh, the next question is at Natalia, Nat, Nat Natalia, back in the valley, it's in the valley. So um, we have at Natalia Punton who asks, who would be your dream guest on the show? Well, my dream guest would be a, I would say, or arguably be the biggest uh, Tool fan in the history of Tool fans. This is an incredible band. He's also an extremely talented uh, folk musician. Uh, he's a bit of a jag. Uh, it's the one and only Sam Crooks. I would love to have Sam Crooks on the show. Do a little bit of a number for us. Uh, let's see if uh, maybe my dream can come true. How about it? Old Sammy boy, old Sammy baby. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that question done. And we've got one final question from uh, YouTube. Oh yes, this character is incredible. Uh, he goes by Hab Lab. Uh, he's an incredibly active person on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Um, this means so much to me, honestly. I think that uh, you're going to be seeing something quite nice unfold through the annals of time. Um, but your question, more importantly, is why is the world so effed up? That is a very, very deep question, Hablab. Um, I would have to say that with every action, there is an effed up or an evil uh, frequency that gets admitted. And then there is also a, a good energy or vibration that gets admitted. Nothing is fully evil or fully good. So my question to you actually would be, uh, why is it so darn good? Uh, please uh, comment in the section uh, below, Hablab. Uh, we'd love to hear what you have to think on that. Finally, okay, so that was the Q&A. That was pretty nice. We're on eight minutes already. That is incredibly fast, incredibly fast. So the next section is updates, updates, updates of the series that uh, we are building. It's the Home Kit series all about Elon Musk, if you Musk. We're, right, we're making this one for all the musketeers out there. Thank you and good night. So let's talk a little bit about the short-term timeline. I've got the... Uh, the whiteboard in the back here. So let's bring that a little bit forward and uh, maybe have a little bit of a conversation about there. Uh, the timeline, this is, by the way, on, on the board here. The timeline goes as follows. You've got from September through to December. Um, I kind of made a rough plan as to what I want to do. I should probably move a little bit. Is that better? Well, I, I mean, I can only show you the, the basically the timeline is there. I don't know how I'd make, make that better. Just one second, one moment. Sorry. <laughs> okay, just playing with the light. I'm thinking. There we go. Uh, let's see if that works a little bit better. Okay, so I mean, look, you can roughly see that there's a timeline, and so up until November, I have thought about what I would like to be doing. Uh, so what I'm playing with is the idea of doing two-week sections along the assembly line of manufacturing this content. So um, on one of the first steps on the assembly line I've seen is research. So I've got two weeks of research, then I go offline for about three days. Then I come back and I've got two weeks of preparing scripts and then two weeks of production. 
so that is my kind of month and a bit in advance as to what I will be trying to accomplish. Uh, let's talk about these in a little bit more detail. Uh, I mean, slightly. Uh, so we've got research. Research on. Um, so I'm deep deep in research. What does that mean? That means that I am currently reading Ashley Nance's, uh, Ashley Vance's, I apologize, uh, biography all about Elon Musk. I'm reading lots of articles online from uh, Rolling Stones to The Times to, uh, you know, uh, Washington Post. Any any article I, I find myself reading. I've also got Tim Urban's four-part blog about him, Tesla, Mars, uh, etc., etc., etc. So, watching as many YouTube videos as I possibly can as well. That I think is all that I'm kind of playing with. Also, dank memes, lots of dank memes. Anyway, moving on, preparing scripts. What do I think that the scripts are? The scripts are not going to be written. These are going to be uh, bullet pointed and then I'm going to speak them aloud. And so during this period, I will try and I will rehearse different episodes and I will say them aloud and I might film them again and see what works, see what doesn't work and kind of meld a kind of spontaneous, uh, you know, sort of from the heart limbic system type uh, sermon about this whole venture of going to Mars and Elon Musk and Tesla and everything all around it. Uh, so yes, I'm going to be doing that in those weeks. I imagine I'll probably catch you up um, during one of these sessions. And then production, you've got uh, how I'm going to build it. What steps do I need to do to make these little bits of content that will make a cohesive one hour or so show uh, that will have a kind of journey to it. But anyway, uh, that's uh, how far I've got in the game so far with that. That is updates for you. Finally, we've got the uh, laundry basket. Finally, we've got the laundry basket challenge. <laughs> yeah, you heard me, the laundry basket challenge. So let's get this bloody whiteboard out of the way. Yeah. Woo! And welcome to the laundry basket challenge. Let's see how long I can balance this laundry basket on my head. Here we go. One more time. One more time to see how long I can balance this laundry basket on my head. <laughs> okay, last third time lucky charm. I'm going to get over 30 seconds. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, no, sorry, that's it. Sorry, there we go. Uh, that's all I've got uh, for the laundry basket challenge. Maybe next week we could uh, try and see if I could do it a little bit better. Apologies if that was why you were watching this show. That's a little bit. Um, wow, okay. 13 minutes, 14 minutes. We are almost at the end, really. We have our extra, extra little bit of content for those that have stayed all the way to the end. Um, something quiet has been rumbling. A, a man by the name of Kanye West has been doing for some time now uh, Sunday services, uh, these rehearsed um, choral weekly, uh, you know, religious services. These are in absolutely incredible. So I wanted to finish off. So this is probably one of the reasons why I decided to do live shows every week because something like this to quickly do, not quickly, but to practice over and over again, to try and find 
something within the repetition. See you next week.